Good morning, so I will demonstrate to you how to perform IV cannulation. That you need to do is to check the physician order. This is very important because the procedure requires doctor's order. It is an it is a dependent nursing action. Without doctor's order, we cannot proceed so, all right? So even the verbal order of the doctor is good enough for us to start the IV cannulation, okay? Next, you need to introduce yourself to the client. Good morning, sir. My name is Mark. I'm your nurse and uh, I will be inserting an IV so that we can start with IV infusion, okay? You have to explain it to the patient. There are three identifiers, the name, the birthday, and the MR number. Two out of these three identifiers should be verified by the nurse. May I have your name please, sir? Can I have your birthday, sir? Next number two is you need to select a good vein. In selecting a good vein, you need to apply three to five inches below the elbow, the tourniquet. This one is the release button. This one is the one that you put inside here. Okay, so that it will encircle the arm or the forearm of the patient. Okay, so three to five inches below the elbow. Okay, make sure you do it this way. Insert, insert it here and then stretch out. Okay, to distend the vein, instruct the patient to close his fist. Okay, when he closes his fist, now you can see which vein is good okay choose the vein tip number one choose the vein that is straight okay no curve avoid the vein that has junctions or branches okay avoid the sites that have redness swelling infiltration lesions wounds after that you need to release okay don't forget to release next thing you need to prepare the equipments that you need i will be needing alcohol swab in the three-way saline lock and the uh, flush. This one is used to uh, ensure patency. So, okay, next is your cannula. Open the cannula. You can use either uh, gauge 22 or gauge 20 for the adult. Open it. Check the cannula. Okay. You need to put on your gloves. Okay. And then clean the site. Apply the tourniquet. Okay. Make it tight. Okay. And then instruct the patient to close his face. Then you need to. Clean the site. Okay. Get ready to insert. Bevel up. Bevel up. Hold with your dominant hand. Non-dominant hand to stabilize. You need to stabilize the skin and stretch it so that the vein will not move when you insert it. Okay. Insert at 10 to 30 degrees angle. If you try to see, do not push it further. Try to check first for the backflow of blood. There should be backflow of blood right here. When there is backflow of blood right here, you can now decrease the angle of insertion. And then use this technique. Advance the IV cannula. Withdraw the needle. One centimeter. There will be the second backflow of blood right here. Okay. First backflow of blood is here. Second backflow is here. Okay, when you see the second backflow of blood, advance the cannula. Advance, advance, until the whole cannula is already reaching the insertion site. If you do not insert it fully, the plastic cannula will kink like this. Okay, then you need to release the tourniquet. Um, you can put a gauze, a small gauze. Right, and then don't forget to occlude the vein.
connect to the three-way cell line. We need to check if there will be no bulging. Okay, you will observe if there will be bulging. Okay, if there is bulging, you need to reinsert, find a new one. So there is no bulging, there is no pain. Then put on the tegaderm. When you apply the tegaderm, you apply it to half of the hub, should be included. Okay. Remove the other side. Write here the date. Today is October 15, 2020. We can connect it already with the idea and then start the infusion according to the calculated flow rate.